Today we will learn how to convert a GeoJSON to Shapefile using Python. To do that, we will be using the container we have built before. So, so here you can find the video. And if you actually never saw it, so uh, let's do it. Open the the project we have created before. We want to convert this file called, called path geojson. I'll add it in a gist so you can download it uh, and I leave the path in the description. It is actually a feature collection with a bunch of points and a properties which is uh, actually a numerical ID and it has about one 200 uh, points so the first thing to do is to uh, use something to be able to read the uh, geojson so open the requirements file and add geojson to pi shape and less pi save it okay, once you have done it you have to use the Ctrl Shift P to rebuild the container. Otherwise, you can just type pip install geo json in a terminal. I have already installed it, so it's okay. The the adding it to requirements txt actually add it in a persistent way to the container which is actually better than installing it in a ephemeral way here using the console. So create a new file, I call, um, you can also uh, drop the, the path GeoJSON into the Explorer window so you can have it here uh, and the the next thing to do is to create a new pi file. Let's call it geoj geojson to shape.shp.py. Okay. So the first thing to do is to import the geojson. After that, you need to import the shape file library and I'll be really synthetic here so I won't uh, do a main or any other function, I'll do a plain script. This is not mm, very good if you need to uh, engineer um, the whole process a little better, but, but for um, learning is, uh, it is actually perfect. So let me, um, for, as the first thing we need to prepare our output and to create so a new shape file and to do this we want to use the module shape file and import writer and this is actually quite easy to do you need to call shape file writer and pass a file uh, path shape it's okay uh, also we need to declare a new field for this um, this file, I call it ID and I set it as um, a numeric field. If you go to the shape file module, the documentation, you will see uh, what are the possibilities here. You may add a, um, a numeric with a decimal uh, or um, character text uh, and so on. For our scope, it's quite good to define ID with numeric, which is actually the kind of property we have here. If you have more, you need to declare more than one field. Remember that the declaration is a sequential, so you need to also create records for the field in the same order you are declaring them here. So the next thing is to open the file. So let's use the with operator with open the file is named the path 
uh, GeoJSON. Uh, I'll open it for reading. And the encoding we will be using is UTF-8. And this, let's add an alias here. Let's call it Geo File. Okay. The next thing to do is to create a geospatial uh, GeoJSON object. Or GeoJSON object, and we can do this using the module GeoJSON and the load operator. We actually load from a file, so load from Geo file. This is okay. Now we can print geo object to take a look if everything is working. But first we need to add shape close method, method call, save and click run. As you can see, we have the content on the file on the terminal now, uh, which means that we are doing actually everything correctly. So if we take a look, we will see we have a list here. So maybe we want to do um, enumeration using for, for f uh, um, in uh, geo object. And let's take a look to the GeoJSON. We have a type, a name, a CRS and features. Uh, so maybe we, we know it's a feature collection. So we are not aiming to do a universal converter, but just a converter from this file. So let's enumerate features. So here we, the features okay after that we can see what the result is so let's take a look okay now we have the whole rows and we want to put them in a shapefile so to do that we need to let's remove the print uh, shape we want a point uh, you may want to declare the type on the uh, of of the geometry directly in the writer but you can also create the first geometry and it will set it uh, as well so a point z is okay because we want a point with the third dimension and we need to pass three attributes x y z so this is the first thing to do. The second thing to do is to create a record for the field itself. And the record want a variable um, argument. So we actually need one. And let's see how to generate this first. We want the coordinates. We have a tuple here. So uh, we may want to extract it like XYZ. And to do that, we are gonna read f geometry and then coordinates this okay and add xyz here and actually uh, we are okay uh, for the geometry but we need also um, uh, a property and to do that, we'll, we'll do an analogous thing. So we the structure is properties ID. So F properties, okay. And then ID. ID is already numeric. If, uh, if it's not, you need to transform them using uh, the, the int or the float or the str operation, operator. Uh, let's save and run the file, no error. And uh, we may want to check if everything is okay. So open QJS, we have a base layer here and the CRS is set to the web Mercator. So let's open the path ship file we have created. And uh, actually it has no um, CRS because we did not, did not create the project file, so we may want to assign the the project the the, the CRS, which is actually the default one, in, because the GeoJSON as a standard itself uses the 40, 43, 27, 20, 43, 26 um, CRS. So click OK, we will see the right position. Let's zoom in. 
uh, it's in a roundabout and it's actually perfect maybe we want to see the table and the table is actually right so we have done everything correctly and we have created a converter for mm, from GeoJSON to shapefile thank you for listening this is just a small sample on how to use python for geospatial purposes and thank you for listening remember to subscribe and to click the like button